1995, at the age of 5, I was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a genetic condition which results in the weakening of muscles and it eventually leads to death. But despite my condition, I've never let it stop me from living my life as normal as possible. By the age of 13, even though I became wheelchair bound, I still went on to a mainstream secondary school. After secondary school, I went on to junior college. After junior college, I logically felt that I should go on to university, but I was unsuccessful in all my applications. Undecided on what to do next, I ended up having a gap year, and in that year, I represented Singapore in the 5th ASEAN Para Games in Kuala Lumpur. After a year, I decided to enroll in Polytechnic to pursue my interest in product design. But due to my condition, the school was concerned about the physical demands of the course and in fact tried to discourage me from taking up the course. But I persevered with my decision. And during Polytechnic, I also took up vocal lessons and even performed at the Esplanade. Even though I had to face many challenges during Polytechnic, I managed to overcome them and I graduated earlier this year. From the Product Design and Innovation course and receiving the Special Award Certificate, Chan Yi Chun After graduating from Polytechnic, I decided to try to apply for university again. I was not confident on my chances, but in the end, I received a letter and it was offered to study art, design and media at the Nanyang Technological University. Due to my condition, which weakens the muscles, I need to rely on my helper for the daily activities that most people take for granted, such as going to the toilet and brushing my teeth. I also need to be transferred from my wheelchair for something as simple as meal time. And because my house has a staircase, every day my helper has to carry me up and down the stairs. For me, I have two ways to deal with the reality of my condition. One is to be paralyzed by my situation and just stay at home and do nothing. While the other is to go out and live my life to the fullest with courage and passion. Life for me is shorter and eventually I will die. But my choice is to make the most of life by doing the things I love and treasuring every moment. Similarly, everyone will die one day. And therefore we should cherish the time that we have here on earth. 